Now it's common for the leaks to come from these little gaskets, O-rings, whatever you want to call them, tend to leak. Uh, that's very kind of, they'll, they'll just drip without flushing or anything. In this case, we have this O-ring right here where it's worn and then it's just corroded and it's just leaking. So when the flap comes up, it uh, doesn't have uh, a, a closure down there underneath this tank to the bowl and that's why the water is just pouring out. So we have a nice decent seal right here from this flap to this inner gasket, but inside between the tank and the bowl is just shot. So that's why when we flush the toilet, we get the leak coming out from underneath on the bottom side. Now, the first thing you wanna do before you start taking anything apart is you wanna turn off the water. And we're just gonna go ahead and flush the toilet so we can get all the water out. Push some of the water out as much as you can by hand. The rest we're just gonna go have to soak out with either a sponge or with a towel, a vacuum, you can do that as well. Shop vac would be great. Rather than spending the time hooking up and bringing up my shop vac up to this top floor, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some towels to get this water out. The more water we get out, the less water mess we have coming out while we're taking everything apart. See, it's no big deal. Just mop it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this, this flap off right here so I'm not fighting with it. See, it doesn't take much just to get the remaining water out. I've got a little chisel here that I'm using to break away this rust. Now, this wouldn't be a problem if this had just been installed with a uh, stainless steel bolt set. But if I had to guess, this is probably what came with the toilet bowl. So when this was installed, this is what the, uh, the plumber had. But you can see the standard slot right there. That's probably gonna give me enough grip when I get the uh, socket down on the other side. And same thing over here. Just gonna kind of chip away. Okay, now I'm gonna get underneath and uh, with a socket. These two sets, these two fasteners, are gonna be loosened up with a half inch socket on a three quarter ratchet. I'm just gonna get that underneath here. I'm in an awkward position, so I'm having a hard time getting on here. Okay, and uh, lefty loosey. Now the funny thing is, is this was not put on properly. Uh, when you when I put on the new set, you'll see that there should be a gasket on the top here and then with tension from a nut on the bottom side holding this down this someone cut the corners on this just had this pulling down from the bottom so at some point in time there was some slow leaks but we'll just go ahead and throw this away and then we're going to just go ahead and do the other side right over here you can't see it from where it's at but there's another one here This one didn't seem to, to leak like the other one had. So I'll just go ahead and dispose of that. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, disconnect this flap here. If you look at this flap, you can see it's it's got uh, some, uh, some wear on here. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and replace this too. Might as well, I got this all taken apart. I'm gonna have to go ahead and disconnect right here in order to get this off. And I'm gonna to have to put my other hand on the valve so I can twist this. I don't need any special tools. I should be able to just remove this by hand. I'd rather disconnect here than down there. There's a chance, there's a higher chance of a, a leak. Okay, so once that gets loosened off, that just drops down. And now we've got nothing holding this. It's just resting on that, that O-ring right down in there. So I'm gonna get both hands on it. 
just lifts up nice and easy. Here's what we uh, have on the, uh, the toilet bowl itself. Let me see if I can kind of move this to the side so you can kind of see what we got going on here. But this right here, yeah, this is this is pretty pretty worn as you can see. Oh, I see. So this was on here. This was supposed to be type of a, a gasket for the mounts, but there was no nut underneath there to keep it in place. But uh, the leak was definitely coming through this this O-ring. So now I just gotta find a replacement that this will fit. There are so many different uh, seals, O-rings. I wanna make sure I'm getting the right size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in this bag. I'm gonna bring it with me to the store. Same thing with this uh, little flap. That way I know while I'm at the store, I can match and make sure I'm bringing the right stuff. Or if you want to, you can just take pictures. I think this is just a good idea just to have this with me. That way I don't have to make trips back and forth and make sure I'm getting the right one. So I'm just gonna use a, a bathroom cleaner here. I'm just gonna use a little Scotch-Brite sponge brush just to kind of clean this off, just to get a smooth surface back. So we have a nice tight seal with the, the new O-ring. Now all the water, everything that's come through here is just clean water from the tank. Uh, this is the tank going down into the toilet to flush all the waste down. So I'm not wearing any rubber gloves. There's not really any like sewage uh, filth right here. This is just, just clean water passing through here. I think that's good enough right here. You don't need to really worry about scrubbing and cleaning down there. That's just, just where uh, a nut is gonna go with the washer to hold it in place. I'm just gonna kind of wipe down the little excess here. And that's all you need. As far as the tank, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe out some of this debris just so it's not sitting in there. Uh, as far as the bottom, I don't think there's really anything that needs to be done. I'll probably just wipe this with a cloth. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get a vacuum in here. That, that might be a little easier to just kind of vacuum out. I, I am gonna wanna kinda, kinda smooth this out with the uh, Scotch-Brite brush because this is where the uh, rubber uh, washer is gonna go up against and this is gonna have to create a tight seal uh, once this gets tightened down on. So we do wanna just kinda smooth that out. Uh, over here on this other side, you can see there's quite a bit of rust and corrosion right there. So I do, I'm probably gonna have to scrape a little to get that out of the way. Smooth that out the best I can. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this upside down. Really not much that needs to be done here on these two holes. I might as well go ahead and wipe around here, get that cleaned up a little. Okay, I just picked this up at a local plumbing supply store. Here's my new flap. Uh, here is the new O-ring. I wanna show you that there is a little bit of a difference. They didn't have the same exact O-ring. This here is a little different. It has the same setup design for that to fit in there, same depth, but it is shaped a little different. But this is just gonna fit right over here and they're like that and then this will press down. 
look at that. See, it's fitting on there. I don't know if you can see it at the angle you're at, but it just fits on there. Okay, so I went ahead and I uh, got it wet. Kind of wiped off some of the extra shelf life preserving powder that was on here. I don't know if the manufacturer calls for this. Probably not. But just for added insurance, added measure, I'm just going to go ahead and put some silicone grease on this. Silicone grease. This is just water passing through. It's just going down. It's just water passing through. That's all this is. So I really don't think this silicone grease is necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some on because that's just how I like to do things. Especially given the fact that this wasn't the perfectly same shape and size O-ring. It's another reason why I'm kind of decided I'm going to do that. Okay, I like that. I like the way that's sitting in there. Now this is the little hardware kit. Uh, these are brass. The plumbing supply guy, he said that, uh, yeah, sure, you could do stainless steel. You won't have to worry about it rusting. But they were three times the cost. And he said, he looked at me, he said, you know, you, you really don't need those. You don't need the stainless steel. This will do just fine. By the way, this, this uh, little set here, this kit, uh, was about $12 for everything. A lot cheaper than uh, hiring a, a plumber, a professional to come and do this for you. I'll try to see if I can do this in a way where you can watch. Now I'm just kind of reaching in from the inside of the tank. I've got the other rubber gasket washer here. So if you get started, then you can kind of push it down just a tight, so it's a little tricky. Get the uh, washer, the flat washer. I don't know if my socket is going to be deep enough for this. That might be another reason why Whoever installed this toilet cut corners, my deep socket is not going to be deep enough. So let me go get an open end. It seems to be holding in place. So I don't have to hold the other end with a, a standard screwdriver. So that's, that's great. Now you don't want to overbear it. You don't want to tighten it too much. Just enough to create a little seal right here. You got the gasket on both ends. And um, I'd say your torque is probably maybe maybe only 10 pounds at that. That feels good to me. I can see it kind of pushing in on the rubber. And then we'll just go ahead and do the other side. Same thing. Through the hole. Get the other rubber washer here, push that down, get the flat washer and the nut. I'm just holding the other end with my finger. That seems to be enough. Get my half inch wrench. Yeah, I think because of the rubber gasket, it just seems to hold the, the other end of this bolt pretty snug. Okay, so I got my two lugs, got my new uh, flush O-ring in place. I got the silicone on there to help create a good tight seal. This looks good and tight. 
I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this one last time. I had a little bit of debris falling from the tank when I had it upside down. I'm gonna just make sure that's all nice and clean. And in case if you're wondering, uh, this tank is not heavy at all. Uh, it might look heavy, but it's it's really not. I don't think it weighs any more than six, eight pounds. Okay, let me make sure we put this on the right place. And you can see the holes line up. Just slowly come down where they go. You can, you can see where this uh, nut was tightened on right there. See, there's a little bit of space. That's totally fine. It doesn't matter, right? That's just the, the only purpose of this nut is to keep it watertight. That's the only purpose for it. And it, well, of course, and it stiffens up this, this lag bolt. I can just do this with one hand because I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Now this one I'll be able to go ahead and tighten up with my socket. And as I'm tightening this, it's sandwiching down on that, that O-ring. Okay, you wanna go ahead and reattach the water line. Don't need to over tighten it, just that's good right there. Now before I go ahead and turn the water on, I'm gonna go ahead and get my, my new flap in place. This toilet is functioning perfectly now. No problems, no leaks. If you guys haven't subscribed, if you haven't uh, given this video a thumbs up, a like yet, please do so. I appreciate any comments or any feedback that you have. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.